free your mind with Moose Girl and Grimnir every Thursday night at 7 p.m. Eastern right here on RealLibertyMedia.com. What a, what a groovy tune to get this show off here. Yes, indeedy. This is the Free Your Mind show right here on RealLibertyBD.com and RLMRadio.xyz on this Thursday, April 8, 2021, with myself, yes, Grim, it is. myself Grim there and the lovely co-host, Moose Girl. Moose Girl. Yes, That's indeed. Me. <laughs> anyway, so today today is episode six of the Free Your Mind show, and the title of this program today is "You Can Check Out Any Time You Like, But You Can Never Leave." <laughs> right. Some of y'all may recognize that line from somewhere. Yeah, yeah, I would think some of yeah. you might. Uh, anyway, um, how you doing, Moose? Doing good. That's good How are to you? Know. I'm fine as well. Just fine. Fine and dandy. I'm just trying to uh, retain uh, some level of sanity. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's really hard to do lately. <laughs> uh, it's just... Uh, I mean, where do you start, you know? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I don't know. How about this? Let's start with the uh, topic and uh, okay. e- explain to me your thoughts in pro- providing that topic. Well, okay. So when you are born, you're issued an, a Social Security number. No. Well, maybe you are now. Wait, That's wait. what they did with me and my ki- with my kids. Oh, see, I, 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 well, I didn't get. No, I was they like, won't let you leave the hospital until you fill out the birth certificate and the social security uh, forms. Oh, see, I didn't get mine. I was like eight years old or something. No, I think I was like twelve or something when I got mine. Yeah. But okay, so when you're born, the SS, S, social security is not really a good example, which I think that's how they do it now, Grim. But at least with the birth certificate, right? You're issued that. Yeah, it's that's good. your like straw man or your identity i guess or i don't know how they that's your that's your verbiage but that's your what? that's your stock certificate yeah uh, it's it's a number then you're, you're traded on standard and poor's um throughout your life and uh I, I, but that's not a number is it it is a number oh yeah yeah oh, there's yeah. a number on the birth certificate sure there is is it different than your, well that can't be no, it, it is. It is. Yeah, it's been that way, well, since before I was born. Oh, I'd um, have to look at my birth certificate. To see yeah, it. yeah, there's a, there's a oh. uh, serial number or whatever they want to call it on there. Okay. You, you but look. my point is, I get is that you cannot escape it. You can't go, no, I don't want a birth certificate. No, I don't want to be issued a Social Security number. You can't really turn them down unless, unless they do it like they used to, where you... It's a voluntary sign up, but I'm pretty sure they made me fill out that paperwork before I left the hospital with my babies. Yeah, huh? But you can't escape it. People talk about um, getting, you know, going out, getting away from government and forging on their own or becoming a sovereign. Okay. Right. And you really can't do it. You. you you can't do it. Well, I, you can't you, escape from that number. You go. You go live in a cave somewhere. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but they don't even want you to do that. No, they don't want you to. But you could. No, they don't want you to go off grid completely. Right. Live on the land. Not have. Not be on their tax rules. Not be on anything. It, you can't do it. No, no. You, you're That's, you're you know, you're basically their property. That's what I mean by you can check out. Sure, you can say, "Oh, I hate the government." You can say that all day long. You're still you still have a social security number. Yeah, yeah. you're not. Oh, wait, you can't. I I hate the government. I don't want them to rule me anymore. I'm leaving. I'm leaving the system. You can't do it. Right. It, it, well, it's 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 extremely difficult, and I, I would say 
like I said, you could go live in a cave, but who the hell wants to do that? Right. I I, I mean, uh, even I that, even I mean, that, you know, if you're living in a cave deep in the mountains somewhere, it's possible mm-hmm. that the, uh, you know, civilization, as it's mm-hmm. known, will encroach upon the area you are and they'll find you. Um, and, and basically at that point, what are you doing? You're running away and hiding uh, yep. somewhere and, and uh, living a very rough life. Uh, in in order to avoid uh, the nonsense that you have to put up with within society, exactly. Uh, it's it's not it's, it would not be a, a pleasant existence. No. Uh, living out there, although although you could say, well, I win because I I got rid of the government. Okay, fine, but you're you know eating berries and and dead animals <laughs> off the trail. Um, right. You know, uh, <laughs> and freezing in the in the winter and, and roasting in the summer. So, um, yeah, right. okay, you win. <laughs> you win. <laughs> yeah, so that when people talk about getting away from it or fighting them in their own system to prove a point or, you know, yeah, I own this house, but I still pay rent, which is prop- called property tax. That's right. You know, so I really don't own this house. I mean, well, right? Right. Well, well, um, no, I do, but you, I don't. I you, mean, you, you do, but you don't. You're not. You're not beholden to a bank or a mortgage company at that point. If right. if, if it's paid off, you know, clear, free and clear, as they say. Right. Uh, but 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 the state don't give up. You know. No. Nope. Or, or or in my case, the county. Um, <laughs> that would be the county for me too. Yeah. For property uh, tax. For right. Property right. Tax. Yeah. Yep. And uh, so, uh, yeah, you know, um, it, it, it depends how much hardship you want to put yourself through. Uh, you know, you got to balance that out with, with what kind of life do you want? Um, right. And I, I mean, the people that I see that are um, not participating or whatever in government, right? They're fucking homeless, dude. Yeah. They're living in a tent under a fucking bridge. You know, and they're a drug addict or something. Yeah, you know well, what I mean? Well, like, that's well, not a life. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, you know, it all depends. Yeah. I mean, I, I wouldn't mind, uh, like, if I could, you know, build a nice cabin somewhere uh, next to a lake up in the mountains. Um, and you Right, know, but you still have to pay, you'll have to pay tax on well, that land. See, and, there, and there's where the problem comes in. Um, yep. So, you even, can't escape it. Even, People talk about it all the time like it's this easy thing to do, like, oh, I should go to court, and I should do this, and I should do that, and blah, 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 blah. And you know what? It, why? Well, you can minimize. I mean, you can stay what? stay in society, uh, living in the place that you're at, but you can minimize your interaction with them um, as much as possible. That's what I try to do. Right. So, um, I, I, I mean, <laughs> there, there's uh, people that are like, well, you know, I'm not going to get a driver's license. I'm like, okay, I'm not going to have license plates on my car. Okay. You have fun dealing with the cops every five seconds. Yeah. Well, maybe not. Or every day or whatever. It is, yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Right. Because they're going to be pulling you over. If they see a vehicle on the road without a plate on it, they're going to pull you over. Yes, they will. And they're, then they're going to ask you for your driver's license. And, and they're not going to accept uh, any nonsense about it. About, uh, like, I'm not traveling for commercial purposes. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, uh, well, yeah. One, of, one of the most popular links, which you probably don't even know about or care about, um, over on uh, reallibertymedia.com, mm-hmm. uh, is a document called Notice of Understanding and Intent and Claim of Right. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, consistently over the, the many years, over the like 15, 13 years uh, mm-hmm. that, that this site's been up, this has been one of the most popular uh, pages up there. Um, and it, it's just okay. a thing uh, saying, you know, basically uh, this, this makes me a sovereign person. Um, right. Which, uh, I had some, a friend of mine gave me like a pack, a stack of like cards, business cards size. Right. That has the same thing on it. Okay. Well, and she worked at a as a lawyer. It, it, this is what it's called. Well, maybe it's the same thing. Invocation of rights. No, this is this is different. This, this okay, is, but uh, I can read this if you want. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. 
Okay, this, she gave me these, and I forgot I had these, and I found them just now in my drawer here. So I'm like, where did I put those? Oh, here they are. Okay, Invocation of Rights. I wish to invoke all my rights under the statutes and constitutions of the United States and the state of Wisconsin. I do not want to talk with anyone from law enforcement or participate in any lineup until I consult with a lawyer and he or she is present. I do not consent to a search of my person, property, or possessions under my control in which I have an interest. I do not waive any of my legal rights. Okay, well, that sounds like somebody that's that, that's been arrested or somebody that's they, they want right. to put into a lineup that people can go there and, and say that's the person. Um, mm-hmm. uh, that sounds like that cat. Well, this is this is fully different than that. Okay. Um, but, no, I think the important part of this, though, Grim, before you go on, is I do not consent to a search of my person, property, or possessions because a lot of people don't know that you can refuse a cop. You Can, can I – I'm going to search your car now. Or what? Can we search your car? No. No, you cannot. Right. So a lot of people don't think they can – people think they have to comply with every cop, every demand a cop makes. Right, I know they do, and it's because cops try to be as intimidating as hell. Right, exactly. And generally they are because they can really fuck with you. Right. Yeah, yeah. They generally, can really... people don't know their rights. Yeah. Uh, anyway, from this this document here uh, mm-hmm. on, on RLM notice of understanding and intent and claim of right, uh, I'll just give you the first. I mean, there's a, a ton of different bullet points on there, mm-hmm. uh, but it says. Where, whereas it is my understanding that the United States of America is a common law jurisdiction and whereas it is my understanding uh, equality before the law is paramount and mandatory and where it is, as it is my understanding that a statute is defined as a legislated rule of society which has been given the force of law and, 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 on and on down here. Um, and there's, I don't know how many, 40, 50 different bullet points in there. Uh, it goes on to say, furthermore, I claim these actions are not outside of my community standards and will, in fact, support said community in our desire for truth and maximum freedom. Furthermore, I claim the right to engage in these actions and further claim that all property, property held by me is held under a claim of right. Um, I, I, uh, not really all that fond of that one, uh, put together my own uh, thing here which is just called a statement of individual freedom. Yeah, that that is okay, old yeah. Menard stuff. Um, and and mine, mine is very simple, and I actually provide you a little card you can print out and carry with you. Oh, cool. Uh, a statement of individual freedom. I, as a free individual, reject and disavow any and all citizenship under any government or corporate system or entity. Any previous assertions or claims that I was a citizen are null and void. I use the term individual rather than person because person is used within legalese as an item of property. I am not an item of property. I I do not claim to be a sovereign citizen as that term is an oxymoron. Yes. (laughs) I also do not not claim to be a free citizen as, again, the term is an oxymoron. (laughs) <laughs> I, I further neither grant nor provide any government or corporate system or entity authority over me, my freedom and liberty or property. Any claims of such authority are erroneous and incorrect. Signed, me. Um, <laughs> this statement may be used as is or modified by anyone who chooses to do so. I would, I would suggest you make the wording to your liking and then print it out and carry it with you. Uh, Mm -hmm. for those times when someone wishes to claim they have authority over you. Uh, And then I provide a little example card with a little uh, black and yellow anarchy and cap uh, voluntarist symbol. Mm -hmm. Um, So I I, I prefer mine over that that other one. um, Yeah. Just because it's more direct and straight to the point. Yeah. uh, so so there's that, and I'm sure you've seen this before. I, I think I've shared yeah, it. Yeah, I have. I shared it here years ago. You can see by the date there that I, I made that in 2013. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. A- anyway, I, I, think it's a, it's a, I think it's a good one, whether, you know, they don't care. Uh, you could present this no. card, card to them, and they'll say, yeah, that's cute. Yeah, you can uh, say, um, no, 
I have a common law right to travel, officer. Yeah, officer jack off. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm accept- exercising my human right to travel. Right. So you really have your 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 stoppage of me is <laughs> illegal. So, right. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I I think uh you know the using this statement over the individual claim of right is is I think better. Mm-hmm. I think it works better. Okay. Um, it's you know. I, I mean. People are like, well, you got to fight them within their system. You you got to you got to take them to task. You know, it's like, what? I don't have the time or the money to do no, that. Or I, the desire. I have no desire to do that. Yeah, I, I take them to task. What the, what the hell does that mean? Um. <laughs> right. <laughs> that I'm a sovereign and I have this. You know, it's like, dude, uh, I play the game as little as possible. But some things I do because I don't want to be harassed by the jackboots. Yeah. I don't want to drive dirty. Okay? Right. And that's it, what I call it, driving without registration or license or a plate. You're driving dirty. Right. And you're setting yourself up as a target for the cops. Yeah, sure. Um, uh, Rob, Rob points out that... Uh, mm-hmm. uh, Individual is one of their terms, another one of their terms. Uh, yeah. Natural born inhabitant is a better term. Except mm-hmm. I think that inhabitant is also a uh, co-used Legal. or co-opted uh, term uh, into the legalese inhabitant. Um, I'm, I'm not sure right. what the definition of that would be in, like, through Black's Law Dictionary or something. But uh, I think it, it, it is in there in, in some way or another. Uh uh, they they take all the common terms and bastardize them, um, yep. So that you don't know the real meaning of the words they're spewing at you, right? So, um, yeah, you know, uh, you could check out any time you like. Uh, you can never leave, um, right? <laughs> you, you, these people are talking. Well, I'm going to be sovereign. I'm yeah. not going to go without, do what the government says to do. Now, you have fun with that, then, buddy. If you have a home, you're going to lose it. They'll take it because you won't pay property tax. Right. You ain't going to have shit when they're done with you. So have fun with that. That's right, Vinny. What you going to do when they come for you? What's that? That's that pig song. What's that? What's that show? Bad boys, bad boys. Pigs, pigs, pigs. From the cop show. Cops. cops. Pigs. Yeah, cops. Said. Yeah, yeah. That's what I yeah. said. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because they're going to come after you with guns and shit, and uh, you know um, what? 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 What are you, what are you really going to do? Uh, what are you going to do? You're, uh, gonna you're, you're either going to going to die on the spot, or you're going to you know yep. you're 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 you're, you're going to go with them uh, one right. way or the other, and uh, yep, because they they don't care. They they just don't care. Um, is what it comes down to. Uh, yep. No, they <laughs> well, don't care. That. Uh, uh, well, one thing I, I, I posted uh, somewhere last night it says you could be as nice and as pleasant as you want, the state mm-hmm. will still kill you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so because uh, uh, that's what they do. That's what they're. That's that. That is largely uh, uh, their their role is to have right. a monopoly on violence within a, ge- a certain geographic area. Uh, so. You know, if, if it's your, you know, local city cops and they have, uh, you know, the, the violence right there in that city, if it's the county, whatever, state. Um, let's let's take a look. Rob's, uh, Rob's did one years ago. Uh, it's a, whoa, an RTF, huh? Okay, let me see what I got. An let's, RTF? Let's see, what, let's, let's see what loads that. Public note only. RTF. Okay, I think it'll open in my... Uh, my uh, Right. Yeah, it's opening in my Libra office. <laughs> yeah, that's that that's what it's probably open. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah. But let's see what he's got to say cuz you know, Rob, he's a very sharp guy. Uh, yeah. And, uh, he, he, and he, uh, you know, I don't I don't want to call him out, but he doesn't do the in, the tax thing. Yeah, fine. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. I don't I don't either. I mean, except for well, I do pay property taxes, but yeah. And, you know, sales taxes. <laughs> right. We all pay that. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah, I, I, uh, 
Okay, I'll have to save that for later. It's too long to read here on the show. Yeah, it's uh, too long to read. But, uh, yeah, thanks for that, it Rob. It looks good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it looks good. I mean... Yeah, see, now Vinny, he's got a different trick up his sleeve. Okay. He's, he talks their head off. Right. And, and, they're, and they're like, yeah, yeah I got to go. I, I, I got to. I, oh, I, I think I heard my radio. I, I, I Let me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like, one more thing. <laughs> Just pe- pe- pester them away. <laughs> uh, I, can, yeah. I, I, I can see that happen. You, you would make a, that'd be a good comedy show. Um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, but, but I mean, you know, uh, depending on where you live too, I think there's different uh, degrees of bullshit you have to put up with. Like out here in the rural zone, nobody mm-hmm. fucks, nobody comes bothering me. Nobody fucks with me. Um, I, 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 you know, I do what I do around in my house and in my yard and all that stuff and everything's pretty much fine. I don't get messed with. Um, but if I was to live in the city, uh, you know, then there's, you know, people like real, they, they, you know, the houses are only pretty close together. Uh, and whereas to here, there's, you know, nobody within a hundred yards of me, uh, in any direction. Um, so I can make all the noise here in the house that I want. Nobody says anything. Right. Um, uh, but, but, you know, if you're in the, you know, living in a, you know, even in the suburbs, uh, the houses are all, you know, in a tract and they're all right. packed in together. And if you make a lot of noise, uh, the neighbors get pissed off. They'll call the pigs. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like like your freaking neighbor with the dog. Yeah. Oh God. You know. Oh my God. Um, oh, I shut that girl up though. I well, shut her right up. Well, I called the cops on her after the fourth time of her calling the cops on my dog. When there's five billion dogs in my neighborhood, there's no way in hell it was just my dog. Right. I I talked that the co- officer that showed up at my house. I talked his ear off. I told him <laughs> him this lady's harassing me. I'm going to file a complaint against her, and he said, okay, and then another officer called me later and talked to me about it. Well, could you guys just talk to each other and work it out? I'm like, I have no desire to talk to her ever again. I'm like, that would not be a good idea at this time, because I was pissed off at that time, you know what I mean? Right, right. But since then, I've changed my behavior a little bit, so I don't leave them out in the tie out barking which I didn't for a long time anyway. So she lied to the cops about the situation. So I leave the dog out for an extended period of time, which is bullshit. The neighbor's two houses down, they do. They leave their dog out for an hour, okay? Right. Me, I do not. You know, if when he started barking, I'd go out there and get him. Well, now I just walk him out there and take him out there. You know what I mean? Right. I put him in the tile a couple times this week because it was really nice out. and He didn't bark, so. Yeah. I think he's getting better, but... um. It just made it pisses me off that I had to like change my behavior because of her. You know what I mean? Absolutely, absolutely. It's like mind your own freaking business, lady. You know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just it, stuff like that when you live close to other people. Yeah, you have to deal with that. Yep. Right. So, so it makes a difference where where you decide to live. Um, yeah. The, the further away you are from people the better. Of yeah. course, it could be much less convenient for you rather than right. go rather than going a quarter mile up the road to get your groceries, you may have to go 10 miles or 20 miles. Uh, right. you know, to, to find stuff. I yeah. I got I got lucky here because uh it's a, kind of a small town and and everything's within a mile of me. So, I get go down to my post office box. Um of course, there's the the problem there where I don't call it a problem or not. Uh, it, took, it was an adjustment, I'd say, that there's no home mail delivery, so I have to have a P.O. box. <laughs> but then again, I don't have the, the, the freaking uh, federal scumbag uh, postal, postal guys coming onto my property uh, to, to drop mail, so that's a good thing. Right, right. Um, so, so there's that. But, you know, the, everything's there. i got a hardware store. i got a grocery store. Uh, got got everything right here in town, um, but people are spaced out far enough. Uh, that they don't bother each other, uh, and I think a lot of people move out, you know, away from places like Albuquerque or Santa Fe uh, to to these more kind of rural areas uh, to you know not be around people real closely. Yeah, so, 
Um, so, so the, the, you know, uh, depending on what, 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 how you're going to live your life, what you're going to, well, you know, when I lived in San Diego uh, and I worked for corporations, um, yeah. then, then of course there was all the, 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 you know, income tax crap involved and, and yep. having to file the stuff every time and, and right. you're there in a city and there's all these parking ordinances and ordinance ordinances i don't know uh anyway um <laughs> ordinances yeah you, you said it right all right uh so so uh you know the more people that are around the more laws they're going to have for that particular area and they're not really laws of course they're codes but statutes yeah yeah it, well basically it comes down to codes because they're all putting into a code book and they're all right they're, they're they'll all be filed under whatever code number um, yeah uh, but they're not laws as laws are actually defined but they call them laws because it's uh legal in in, in the color of law uh, so right yeah so they'll say you broke this law well it's not a law oh well you broke this code <laughs> <laughs> all right Whatever. Uh, right. So, um, but but even I mean, you know, yeah, even ahead. even if I was to live out further, um, outside of any county in an unincorporated mm-hmm. area, which mm-hmm. there are unincorporated areas, I have a an acre of land about uh, ten twelve miles from here, that is an mm-hmm. uh, unincorporated area. I still pay property taxes on that little chunk of land. Right. It's like eight bucks a year. Um, but uh, I I still pay it. In order to keep my, you know, that's my acre that I, if I ever want to use it, uh, right? It's sitting out there, and, and I've I've visited a few times. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there, there's nothing out there, you know. It's just it's right. just it's it's just the uh, sagebrush and cactus and uh, things yeah. like that out there. There's a little you know beat up dirt road, all kind of rutted out that that you can travel. Mm-hmm. So I mean, you wouldn't want to do that in like a, a Datsun. Well, I mean, I mean not like a car, you know. Right. Right. Uh, but with a Jeep, it's fine. You can just drive on out there. Um, <laughs> so, probably in your car, too. What do you got to explore? No, it's a Santa Fe. Santa Hyundai. Fe. Hyundai. Oh, but you had a Ford, All too. All-wheel drive. Oh, Edge. Edge, yeah. yeah. My Edge is a Ford, yeah. yeah. Zach has that. Okay. Anyway, so, yeah, those are, those, those are both go fine out there. Um, uh-huh. Yeah. But, uh, All-wheel drive would work, yeah. Yeah. And, and I've thought, you know, about you know, plenty of times that I could build – out there, um, you know, yeah. but I would have to put in uh, a well for water, of course. I'd have yeah. to put in uh, generators for power. Um, I, I don't know what kind of uh, signal there is because I would have to use, uh, you know, uh, some kind of uh, wireless Internet type stuff out there. Right. Cause, well, there's nothing out there. Um, <laughs> right. But I, I was able to use my phone out there before. So, uh, well, yeah. that's the way they get us, though. The way they get us with this number is, and the taxes and everything is the paperwork you have to fill out because they force employers to do the, that. You know, unless the employer's paying you cash. Right, under the table. Gonna, yeah, then they're using your number, and you have to fill out that paperwork, or you cannot work. You cannot get paid. Exactly. And that's how they get us with all this crap. You can't opt out. You no. can check out all you want, but you can never leave, baby. That's, that's true. <laughs> you got to play the game to some point. Yeah, all of us do. Welcome it, to the... It's just a fact of life. Well, welcome to the hotel government. Right, hotel government. <sighs> check out, but you can never leave. Yeah. And there's... If you do want to be one of these people that are like, well, I'm going to make a stand and I'm going to make a difference and I'm going to, you know, go against them, they'll make an example out of one person. Right. Well, just look at just look at Ed and Elaine Brown. Um, yeah. They 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 they've been screwed over for a long time, and uh, I think Ed's still in jail. Will probably be there forever. Yep. Uh, I think Elaine got out. I'm not positive on that, but yeah, I'm pretty sure Elaine. Yeah, I saw Elaine. Donna. He's Elaine. out. He's still in. Yeah. So, um, uh, you know, uh, and and that was just for wanting to, to live peacefully and alone out in the distance, uh, away right. from people. And uh, but 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 they did make you know uh, a big noise about what they were doing, saying, yeah. "Look here, we live out here. We don't pay any taxes." Da 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 da. 
Yeah, okay. Well, then they came for you. Um, or or yep. R- Ruby Ridge, you know. They'll, they'll kill your ass. People at Ruby Ridge, they they just wanted to live, you know, a nice uh, life in their own way. And they weren't bothering anybody, and they weren't even making a big noise. Uh, they they were making any noise. They were just trying to live. And, and they came for them. Um, yeah. Yeah. So you, you you can I mean unless you have someone living with you a partner or someone willing to do this stuff for you then you can do it. Yeah, it's to not, you know not for taxes, not you know what I mean. Right. But most of us don't have that. Or most you know and you can't I mean you can say oh I don't have a social security number anymore. Bullshit. <laughs> yeah, you do. Even if you don't have the card or you don't acknowledge that number at all, it's still a sign to your ass. Uh, I see Rob's pointing out that uh, up there, Ruby Ridge, uh, Randy Weaver refused to be the snitch for the FBI and, uh, and, and infiltrate the, the white supremacist group. Okay. So that that's why they went after him. All right. Well, a- anyway, all I know is they went up there and they killed people uh, that were that were that were uh, trying to you know. Live alone. Live, live, live peacefully. Right. Just by the... live and uh, and just be left alone. But they, government doesn't want that. They don't want you to be left alone. They don't want you to be on your own device devices. No, not at all. No. Oh, how dare you not need us? <laughs> I, I don't need you. <laughs> I didn't well, want you. I don't need you. I I wasn't given an option. You know when I was born. No, and, Some and years ago. <laughs> I, I I don't know of any place in the world. I mean, uh, every chunk of land has some government that claims ownership of it, and right. and is, so uh, may, maybe there's some like little islands out there somewhere that aren't claimed yet. I, I don't know. Um, if, you know, if you want to live out in the middle of the South Pacific or something. But don't let anybody see you. Uh, well, you know, even at that, I mean, you know, if, yeah, if, I mean, if you claimed that land as your own and, and nobody else had already claimed it, uh, then you can, you know, probably do all right there. Um, right. But, you know, th- that's if you can figure out how, how to survive on a little so, island like you, that. You, right. So what do you, I mean, these people that are like, well, you have a driver's license, so you're this and that. It's like, what? I have a driver's license to make my life easier. Okay? Exactly. And if I want to get a job or if I want to drive not dirty, I have to have it. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, it's, I it's, have to have it, and, and you need it. You need some form of identification. And I didn't know if there was like you can make your own identification card. Anybody could do that. Right. But what wording would you put on it? That you're sovereign. Uh, you could use that. You could world. use. You you could use that little uh, uh, statement of individual freedom right. that I posted earlier. Exactly. You could put that on there. It's a, it's a nice little card. Um, <laughs> or uh, uh, you you could just use a uh, RLM press pass uh, press card. I, I guess yeah. pass is not really a good word. Um, <laughs> which which is something I, I hadn't thought about, but Vinny pointed out to me. As he was using, I don't need no pass. Oh. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> we don't need no stinking passes. Um. <laughs> but I'm saying you could you could make your own DL or ID. Sure. But it, they want they'd be like, oh, what is this? This isn't state issued. This isn't government issued. Right. This is not. This is not proper. <laughs> I'd be like, what do you mean? It's got my picture and my name on it, my birth date. Right, all that, all those things, same stuff. Right. Oh, but it doesn't have the the state driver's license. The state seal. Right. <laughs> Just make up your own number. But yeah. then that's fraud. Is it? How's it fraud? If you're they not... would call you that. They would call it fraud because yeah. you're using some false ID or false DL. Well, no, I mean it's. It's not really false, just um, uh, unofficial. Made up, unofficial. Not in their system. Yeah, not in their system. So I mean, okay, let's. What? Who wants to sign up to drive for a year with no no driver's license? 
Yeah. Or no license plates on your car. Who wants to sign up to do it? I, I'm, test subject. I'm going to pass on that one. Yeah, I, I'd rather Come not. Come on, Graham. You're being unpatriotic. I could, you're, I, you're, you're being un on um antarctical. <laughs> I could I could probably actually get away with that here. Um but if you get an accident when you're out driving with no license, your yeah. ass is grass. Okay? Your your ass is grass. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Sure. I mean, sure. that cop's going to show up at that scene and ask you for your license. And if you don't have one, you're going to be fine for driving without a license. You're going to be at fault for the accident. You're going to, you know, you're going to be a world of shit. Yeah, you can, you can make your own license, too. I, as a free individual, need no permission from the state to drive. But at an accident, they're going to ask for both driver's IDs. Sure. I don't give a fuck if it's your fault or not. They're going to ask both drivers for their driver's licenses. Yeah. And if you don't have one, you're fucked. Yeah, I, I don't know, Rob. Rob said it. I, that to me, I do not like that feeling of driving dirty because you know when you're doing it. Oh yeah. It, it, after a while, it gets like I did it with no insurance for a little bit. Yeah. I was scared. I was like, oh my god, what if someone rear ends me? It's not my fault, but I have no insurance. Right. So it is your fault. Yeah. Well, that's what they would say, right? Just because even though I got rear ended for me not having insurance, it would be my fault. What? Sure. Yeah. Because I'm driving without a license or without insurance or right, without well, you know. a license plate or whatever. And, 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 nope. and it, it, bull crap. <laughs> I'm just saying. you got to play out every scenario. Like, I mean, even if you follow all the rules of the road to the letter, if you're driving without a plate, you're going to get pulled over. Right. A lot. Right. It's a big red flag. And then when you do get pulled over, since having insurance is lawful, is you have to have it. If I don't have insurance, no license, no plates, that's three strikes on me. Sure. And no insurance, too. Let's put that in. So who wants to sign up to drive around with no driver's license, no license plates, no insurance in a vehicle for a year? No yeah. driver's license, either. I said, I'm going to skip on it. I mean, I, I could probably, like I said, get away with it here. Um, I drive such short distances. And, right, and, and you don't go very very many places. You don't drive a lot. Yeah, I don't, I don't go every day or I'm not out there trying to commute to a business. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I and, and I've, I've never been pulled over or had cops following me here or nothing. So, I mean, I, I could probably get away with it here, but I'm not going to. Um, yeah, you know. You're, you're not. You're, you're being a coward, Grim. I know. I know. I am. You're being a coward to sell out. I'm, I'm the, I'm the coward. I gotta go see the Wizard of Oz. I guess so. Give me some courage. Yep. <laughs> I mean, okay. Now let's let's say ninety percent of Eau Claire County decided to do that. Okay. Then maybe something would happen. Yeah. No. Then you can get away with it. Uh, right. But if it's just you, right. <laughs> good luck with that. Yeah. I, I, I'm sorry. I just can't drive dirty. I hate that feeling. I just hate that feeling. Because you just... Oh, shut up, phone. Hang on. All right. I don't have to answer. I just don't want people to hear it ringing. Like, how annoying. Yeah, oh, whatever. Let it ring. Nobody cares. Yeah, okay. Oh, never. <laughs> it's like, come on. Jackson it's answered. It's not even a real call. It's like some telemarketer. Oh, yeah. yeah. Doesn't we, even tell, it just shows the phone number. It doesn't say, oh, this is whoever it is calling. You know what I mean? Uh, we've been trying to reach you about your vehicle's warranty. <laughs> right. It's like, whatever. Yeah. Anyway, um, my point is like, you you have to play it a certain way. You, Not everybody can just go, oh, I'm done with it all. You know what I mean? Yeah. If, if everybody did that at once, then maybe something happened, but... One person, you're just going to be made an example of and find out, find up the yin yang. Oh sure. Well, yeah. Rob, I mean, you, it, it have, you have a different situation than a lot of people do. Yeah, but but it is terrorism. That, that's the feeling. It is. It, yep. They, they, the state terrorizes its citizens. Um, yep. Because that, like I said, that that that's their that's their main thing, is is a monopoly on violence. 
so and and they will violence against you um, if they have the opportunity to do so. Uh, that, that is definitely terrorism. If you look up the definition of terrorism, uh, you'll see. Oh yeah. yeah, this definitely fits what the government does. So, um. but not everybody can do that. Okay. Not everybody can just go, I'm not going to pay taxes, I'm not going to no, no, work, no, I'm not going to... Everybody you know, can't. What? I said, no, no, everybody can't. Right, cause, and it, it's set up this way, guys. It's been set up since I've been alive. Well, sure. Like this. Sure. And, you, you know, I don't know, move to another country, but is that better? I don't know. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, we'll, we'll have people come in here time to time, talking about this limited government... And I try to tell them every time, you, you can't have a limited government. Once you give them the power, they're going to expand and grow that power continually, continually. Uh, and, and, and so no matter what you start off with, it's going to grow into the monstrosity you see now. Uh, yep. <laughs> so, uh, and how you get, how, what, what do you propose to get rid of this thing that, that, right. call, that calls itself government. Uh, I, 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 they're not just gonna, you know, say, "Oh, okay, people don't like us, so we'll, we'll just go home." No, they're yeah. not gonna. They're not gonna do that. <laughs> no, they're not just gonna bow their heads in shame. Yeah, no we've way. been we've been bad. We'll we we right. we'll, we'll go sit in the corner. No, no, it's not gonna happen. Um, and and, right. and and you know, even even if. You know, you're you're like one of the people that does vote and does support uh, some level of government and state. Uh, uh, just listen to the people that that are put out there for you to vote for, and tell me which one of them says we're here to give you more freedoms to to re, re, re to get your freedoms back to where they were at the very beginning of, of this mess. No, none of them say that. They all say, no, they we're going to pass more laws on this and more laws on that. We're going to put taxes on these people that you don't like and do things against these other people you don't like. Well, as soon as they you know, put taxes against the people you don't like, those taxes are affecting you. Uh, right. You, you may not see it. Well, there's a lot of people out there. And they'll, they'll say, oh, you got to tax these big corporations because they're the big evil ones and they're not paying enough. Okay, fine. So... Uh, uh, pick a pick a company, Walmart, whatever, and uh, and triple, quadruple their taxes. Um, what what do you well, you shop there at Walmart, right? What do you think they're going to do with their prices uh, once they have to pay more taxes? You're going to be paying for those. <laughs> they're not going to pay for it. They're going to charge you for all of that stuff. Uh, that, so so that insanity. So oh, we got to go after Starbucks. Okay, great. It works the same. It doesn't matter. Uh, which company, corporation uh, you're going after. Or we want to have this law so these people can't do this. Great, okay. So now those people are stopped from doing X, so are you. Uh, wh whether you wanted to do X or not, it doesn't matter because uh, the people that you put there, or you voted in there, they're not going to be there forever. And soon the other guys are going to come along and they're going to see what happened in the first guys. They're not going to get rid of the the crap that the first guys put in, they're just going to add more crap on top of it, which will stop you from doing stuff that you like. So uh, you can't win with the state, with the system, with the wh whatever you want to call it, whatever kind of whatever level of goonerment um, is is controlling you. And there's many levels of that. Yep. Uh, and 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 they all they all want to squeeze you a little bit or a lot, depending. Uh, apparently it's a right. lot. Apparently it's a lot these days because they're doing squeezing from every direction. But uh. right. <laughs> oh my god! It's just it. You can't. I mean, you can play the game. You can not play the game as much as you. Right. I mean, like like for example, yeah. I'm not getting a vaccine. I'm I, not. I I don't care what they say or do. I'm not getting a vaccine passport. Uh, nope. so, and, and again, I don't care what they say or do on that. Um, they, they, it may make life very difficult in the future. Uh, right. if you, if you don't have, uh, if you, if you're not taking their poison and, and, and their, and their little card that says, yeah, I got poisoned. Um, 
uh, because a lot of companies, and that's that's how they're going to deal with this, I think more than passing laws saying you need a vaccine passport, a lot of companies are just going to refuse you uh, their job. you know to be able well a job and to be able to do business. Like you right. want to you want to walk into your local grocery store. Okay, fine. Show us your vaccine passport. Oh, you don't have one? Sorry, you can't shop here. Um, right. So, My dog's going ballistic. I might have to mute for a second. All right, doggy. Okay. Yeah. Wait, let me. She's she's muting me, but she's. I mean, she's muting herself, but not me. So, woof, woof, woof. <laughs> Sorry, Moose. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Uh, they're, they're absolutely right. Rob points out the criminals, terrorists, and murderers are the ones are the ones enforcing the quote law unquote. Uh, they, they are the ones, yeah, uh, the, you know, them and and the ones that are uh, creating the, the so-called laws in the first place. They are also criminals, terrorists, and murderers. Uh, whether they actually do any of the murdering themselves or just write it down on a piece of paper that my jackboots will come and murder you if you don't follow this crazy rule that I just wrote down on a piece of paper. Uh, and and all the rest of the, my cronies agreed with. So... Uh, now that that we've all agreed and said it's a, it's a new code here, uh, you will follow it. Now, and of course, uh, the, yeah, the, then you got the other bullshit, uh, you know, like these executive orders being passed uh, uh, right. that, that they enact as law, uh, although way, 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 way off the side tr- or the, the, the mainstream of what a law is, how a law is supposed to come into force. Uh, but right. we, saw, we saw every state saw it. Uh, you know, the, the last year uh, with, with these uh, executive orders from your governor uh, in, in your state saying uh, businesses will close down, people will wear masks, uh, all, all kinds of various uh, restrictions they put upon you uh, uh, because somebody made them king or queen, you know, um, right. or a lot of somebody's uh, people were out there supporting them, giving them money. So that they could get in there and do these nasty things to everybody, and uh, yep. and a lot of, a lot of those people that uh, voted in these these various people, uh, maybe looking back now saying, "Oh, why did I vote for this one?" Well, you know, it wouldn't have mattered. You could have voted for the other one, uh, and right. it, and it would have still been the same. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now some of them, uh, of course, have relented at this point. Some of these governors. And said, "All right, like the uh, the Texas guy, uh, no 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 more restrictions of any kind." Of course, a lot of businesses down there still have restrictions, uh, but but the state itself does not any longer at this point. But they did for a long time, and you thought you voted for you know good old Mister Conservative uh, champion of individual rights. Yeah, not so much. Um, no, <laughs> not so much. So, oh boy! <laughs> I know. <sighs> Not, um, I mean, it is helpful to know how to talk with a cop. You know, it's helpful to know what rights you do have and how they usurp them. Um, I guess you could dazzle them with bull crap. Like, well, you, you, your best bet is to never talk to a cop. Um, <laughs> No, I'm I'm serious, of course. Uh, yeah. That, that, that is your best bet. Never talk to a cop. But if forced to in whatever situation, mm-hmm. uh, say basically nothing. Uh, don't 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 give them anything because whatever right. you, whatever you tell them, they're gonna twist uh, yep. and, and 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 make it somehow so they can use it against you. So. Uh, they are not to be trusted uh, when they're telling you things. They're lying to you. Uh, right. Uh, when when they're when they're they're looking for information, uh, they're they're trying to pin something on you. Never, never, never trust any cop. Uh, they they are agents of the state, and and they will screw you if they can. Um, and don't say that you understand. Don't agree to that. No, no, don't. Definitely not. That's, 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 because under it means just what it means. You are under them. Yep, you are standing under the rules as they have handed them to you. Yep. Uh, which that's what stand under. That's, yep. Is is what it should be, but it's understanding. 
You may say, I comprehend your words, but I do not right. understand. I do not understand them. Um, right. Which could have, well, will probably, of course, confuse the cop because most of them are very low IQ. And, right. And they have never been instructed that the words they're using are legalese uh, to to entrap right. you. Uh, so uh, uh, odds are, um, <laughs> odds are that, uh, yeah, you, you might uh, confuse the cop, which will piss them off. Uh, because because yeah. the dullards tend to get pissed off when they get confused. Yeah. Um, and, and, and then they'll and, say you were like resisting arrest or something. Uh, well, you could be you could fully comply with everything he says. He, he could still say you're resisting arrest. Yeah. And and and, and uh, if you if you uh, okay, if the cop you know you're doing all this and and you ask the cop what am I being arrested for? He says resisting arrest. Well, I wasn't being arrested. How could it be I be resisting arrest? Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. They're, they're slimy. I mean, I get it. I get want hating the government. I hate the government. I get it. I get not wanting to do the things you're supposed to do for them. But yeah. In reality, most of us do it in some way, shape, or form. Even if you say, I don't do any of it, you're still paying sales tax. Yeah. Yeah. When you buy something. So you're not completely out of it or removed from it ever. No. You might think that you are, but you aren't. Right. But, you know. When it comes down to the nuts and bolts, you know, they're going to say, well, why don't you have an ID? But then they'll look your name up. They'll look up your Social Security number. They're going to know who the hell you are. Sure. Sure. Yeah. So I mean I I I I always have rejected authority even as a child. Yeah. Uh, I you know when your you know parents say you do this or that and it was like no I'm not doing that or or uh, yeah whatever I I I I didn't like it you know I didn't like parents telling me what to do I didn't like teachers and teachers in school telling me what to do I, I've I've never right. liked that. Um, I, I never could understand how somebody could join the military and, you know, be under somebody, somebody, some 24 hours a day. Uh, but, uh, that, that comes down to that, you know, I, I, I it, it made no sense to me that somebody was willing to put themselves, uh, through that kind of, uh, abuse, I would call it. Um, but a lot, you know, millions of people do, right? Yep. Yeah, so... Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, know. What, what... Besides, you know, living off the grid and in some cave, what you can't really... There's not much you can really do except resist as much as possible. I guess, yeah, right? Yeah, right. You just got to figure yeah. out, you know, what what it's, what what uh, your actions are worth to you and whether or not um, taking those actions is, is going to be uh, valuable to you in some way or another. Yeah. Um, and and for me as far as the driver's license thing goes, it, you know, whatever. Um I I'd need one for for a variety of purposes. Um right. which uh, not all government things, but based upon government things. Um, right. Uh, like uh you know, if I want to use a, a cryptocurrency exchange, uh they I I need to give them a picture of of my driver's license. Right. Uh, so, so yeah, uh, you know, and and that's, what if you don't have it, you can't do it. Right? You can't do it, right? You can't, you can't, you can't be uh, on that on that exchange to at least deal with, uh, you know, U.S. currency. Um, uh, you could do it just purely crypto because they don't care, you know, if right. you just if you're just on there trading crypto for crypto. Um, uh, but at, at this point in time, since there's not really many things you could go out there and buy directly with crypto, there are some things, of course. There are places that will accept cryptocurrencies right. as payment, but but they're few, are few and far between. As far yeah. as uh, you know, you can't go down to the grocery store and say, "All right, here's a, you know uh, a, one fraction of a bitcoin to pay for my groceries." They're gonna look at you. What the hell is that? We don't know what a Bitcoin is. Um, <laughs> right. Yeah. So, uh, you know, uh, 
So, so, so you're limited in things that you can do. You know, if you want to have a bank account and want to open a bank account, I think we talked about this earlier. Uh, of course, you, you you need to have a driver's license to open a bank account. Um, right. And, and why do you have to open a bank account? Because uh, you could do everything in cash, certainly, but uh, right. that's kind of gets to be kind of a pain in the ass uh, if if you got to go and pay your bills in person every month with cash. Um, yeah. Which I think even to get those bills in the first place, like sign up for your water and gas and electric and uh-huh. things, I'm pretty sure you have to have an ID there at some point. Uh, if you if you want to buy a house, of course you have to have a driver's license. Um, and right. Yeah. So I, I mean, I mean, like I said, you have to just decide uh, what 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 the value is and the resistance you're willing to put up. Exactly. So. Uh, yeah, and every each to their own, you know. If 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 you're able to do what you do, great. No, good it is for you. It is and great. All wonderful. Yeah. It just doesn't. It's not realistic for most of us. Right. So and you know and and until and unless and highly undoubtedly uh, there becomes a critical mass of people uh, willing uh, to to do those things, uh, then right. then it's going to stay the way it is and getting worse every year uh, yeah yeah so so that's what i thought of the the topic the topic you can check out you can't leave yep that was a, a, unless a, you kill yourself <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> or well, you die from something <laughs> uh, of course then then if you have any anything to, to to leave to other people there'll be a death tax on that so Right, um. of course. Yeah, they get you coming and going. Yeah. They do. They get you if you get married. Oh, you got married. Oh, got to tax you now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> tax me because I got married. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, well, I, I, I don't know if how it goes in this state. I'm not sure. But in California, I do for sure. That uh-huh. uh, let's say you... Uh, do you filed a federal income tax thing, uh-huh. and, and you got a refund on that federal income tax? Yeah, from money that you overpaid throughout the year. Right, the, that they stole. Yeah, the state of California then claims your refund as income that they will tax you for. Oh my God! Well, that's <laughs> stupid. <laughs> well, yeah, it is double taxing. <laughs> well, it's double, triple, quadruple taxing. Right, right. You know because the uh, they they tax you on your money up front, and then if you have you know some of that money in the bank and it's collecting interest, they'll tax you on that. If you go to right. buy something, of course, you pay taxes on that. Um, uh, and uh, let's you know, and it's just every every way they can they can squeeze another couple of pennies out of you. They're going to squeeze them. So. Right. Anyway, I mean, that I guess, well, people are leaving California in droves. So yeah, well, you know, they, from what they, I've heard, but and taking taking their ideologies with them so that they can screw up whatever new place they go to. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, we're we're uh, we're done here. Um, th- thanks for tuning in, everybody. It's been a interesting uh, show, even if not yeah. that. Not really much new information was presented, uh, no. well, to you guys, but maybe maybe to some of the, the podcast listeners down the line. Uh, right, right. Who, who knows? Uh, but yeah, go go over to, to Real Real Liberty Media and check out that uh, document, Statement of Individual Freedom. I'll, I'll put the I'll put yeah. the I'll put the link into the blog. Um, and uh, let's see, what's today? Thursday, Friday, Thursday. tomorrow is Vin E or Vincent Easley or Vincent Easley too, as you may refer Vin to him. E. Uh, and, and Vinny, uh, and, and, and his show comes on at 1 p.m. Eastern, and it's called American Dissonance. It's a, a radio a writing series program. Uh, and don't forget to check out the Redneck Dentist on Saturday at right. uh, 5 p.m. Eastern with his show, The Redneck Dentist. Ha. And check the schedule over there on RealLibertyMedia.com for all the rest of the shows coming up throughout the week. And I guess that's it. You got anything else? No, I don't. Okay, thanks, everybody. Peace. Peace.